Hello there. Oh, blimey. Look at that. Oh, that's bloody marvellous, that is. That's a rocket. That's what that is. I've seen one of those once. Um, when I was at a special rocket show where they had rockets. Anyway, um, this is going to be our rocket tutorial where we learn how to use a motion guide. So here I am creating a new file which I'm going to call um, period underscore Matthews because that's my name, isn't it? And uh, rocket. Notice I called this one Rocket 4. It took me four tries to get the motion guide right while I was doing a screen capture. It was being, let's say, a bit diabolical. So I'm going to draw a sky using my rectangle tool. Now we've already done one of these for a previous assignment, so I'm kind of going through this rather quick. Fill up the stage with the sky. Call it something brilliant, like, oh, I don't know, sky. You like it, you lock it, you save it. Oh, do remember those three phrases. They'll save your life. Now, I'll go to frame 60 and just insert a frame. What that does is it gives me five seconds of animation. A new layer, call it rocket, go to the first keyframe, and oh, blimey, I've, I've cheated a bit on this, I have to admit. I've got a rocket already in the oven. See what I've done with the flame there? I've, I've drawn a flame just using the paintbrush and blank keyframes. So now, I go to my library and I'm going to take that rocket and drag it onto the stage, holding down the shift key while I drag the mouse. I can change height and width proportionally to make it look exactly the same, just smaller. And tuck it just off the stage where it's going to enter the scene. Now, right click frame 60, insert a keyframe, just like I was about to do a motion tween, but this time I don't move it. I insert my classic tween, right click on the layer name and select create motion guide and you see that new layer that comes up that's where you're going to draw with the pencil tool the path by which you want the rocket to fly so there's a loop-de-loop -loop. it goes off the stage and woo, right across the sky it's going to be um, absolutely brilliant let's just say so with that old drawn it's ready for me to move the rocket. Now, sometimes you have to place the rocket at the beginning of the line, but if you notice, it actually snapped to the beginning of the line, right as soon as I clicked on that first keyframe. So you put it at the beginning of the line on the first keyframe, then you go to the last keyframe for the rocket layer, and you drag it to the end of that line. You notice it sort of snaps, it kind of like, almost like a magnet. It sticks to that line. I've used the free transform tool to rotate it in the direction of the line. But if you'll notice now, I'm pulling the timeline around and I'm also pulling the entire timeline around. And the rocket, oh, that doesn't look right. It's Mr. Matthews. What? You're wrong. It's totally wrong. Well, it was wrong. It was wrong to say that we were more important than Jesus as a person or whatever he was. Sorry. That's mine. That's my uh, John Lennon. What I had to do was click on the first keyframe, find the properties window, and click on the box that says Orient to Path. That makes the rocket orient itself in the same direction as the path. So I like it, I lock it, I save it. The motion guide is done. That's the hardest part. That's what took me four tries. Lead, well, three other tries, and then this one. Now I'm going to put in some clouds just to give the scene a little bit of depth. I've cheated a bit on this as well. I've already drawn a cloud. I do have a tutorial called, I think, 8-Ball or something like that. Where I teach how to do a cloud. Anyway, um, I'm putting the cloud kind of back there. And the clouds are dead easy. I mean, once you've drawn one, it's just a case of going to the last keyframe, or at last frame, inserting a keyframe. And right click and sort of keyframe. Drag it over a little bit 
and create a classic tween. And it's it's like Pixar magic. I've the phone's just been ringing off the hook for all of the animation contracts I've been requested to do for my amazing animation skills. I'm going to put on another cloud and just to make it look a little bit different I'm going to use the free transform tool, squash it this way and rotate it slightly, skew it a bit by the time I've done all this, I probably could have drawn just an, an entire other cloud. But anyway, it's it's good. Anytime you draw an object, go to modify, insert new symbol, and put it in the library. Then it's always there for you. So that cloud is going to have a similar motion tween. By the way, your cloud shouldn't go in opposite directions. It doesn't make any sense. So I move that one slightly to the right. Create classic tween. There we go, there's my two clouds. And you'll notice I've placed them very deliberately so the rocket has to fly in front of one and behind the other. Oh, blimey, look how fast that rocket's going. Right, that's because, again, I always forget this, this version of Flash defaults to 24 frames per second. So when I set the frame rate at 12 frames per second, it looks wonderful. I could stare at that all day. I've thought of staring at paint drying but I think this is much more interesting. There you are. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.